realize that like whenever I think I'm straight manning, I'm not, and like almost people are laughing at me. So how do you like analyze, I guess, like your thoughts or like what is funny or what's not funny, or how do you use what people think is funny and you don't think is funny? That's a great question that, because we're a multi-camera show, because we shoot in front of a live audience, and it's funny, those debates happen more on our show than other shows, like, like let's say on Community where it wasn't shot in front of an audience. So there is that kind of tone of like, sometimes the audience will laugh and be like, that's the funny joke that we'll use in the edit. And sometimes we'll come up with like five or six jokes prior to shooting it. And then, but it's funny, I, I think that in, for me when, I'm in the edit bay a lot too, I help edit the show or give supervising the edit of, all, of every episode. And what I thought was funny because the crowd thought it was funny, or because, or or maybe the crowd didn't think it was funny, and I, I thought it was hilarious. And I want to stick to my guns. I've done both. Sometimes the answer was somewhere in the middle, you know. And and, and, and there have been many times where my character, I'm actually the first guy to take out my own jokes in the thing because because it's not about it's not about me being funny anymore. People know that for what it, for whatever they think about. Me being funny, people know my brand, so I'm not. I'm, I'm very secure about that. To me, I want them to think, "Oh, this show's funny," and and to me, everything is for the good of the show. And so I've been known to, like, sometimes if I've played it too carefree in a couple of scenes and I didn't ground it enough, I'll just definitely take out my my bits to make everything more more grounded. So um, I, I, it's 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 just it's just a different phase of where everybody else is in their career. But I think the to answer your question, it's about following your instincts of what you think is funny first. And then going from there, you'll, you'll, you'll figure it out from, from that moment on. But I think, uh, to answer your question, your point of view, I think it should be what you honestly think is funny, you know, even if other people don't, it doesn't matter. Did you ever have to find a middle ground when you started editing yourself that you were maybe a little too hard on yourself? And then there's also the idea of like dealing with people working on the show as the face of the show, where they might assume that your note is coming from sometimes being the face of the show, that you had to sort of earn that trust that you were actually just trying to cut the show to be as best as it could be. It was really nice that they, from the from day one of editing, I, and I had actually produced some other things too. I did this ESPN like 30 for 30 short where I wasn't in it at all. And it was this documentary about Reggie Ho, this guy who was a kicker for Notre Dame, became a physician. And, and so I really learned a lot from there and I was really into the editing of that. And, and, and to me, no, that was never. That really never came up because from the very first episode, I was involved in editing on Dr. Ken. They, the editors and the showrunner knew it was never about. It was just never about me. It was only about the show and, and making sure that we get the right. And, and there have been times too where I, I, I definitely run it like a democracy. If we have like me, the showrunner, and the editor, a lot of times I'll be like, I really like that joke. Let's say not of mine. This other character I really love that joke. Let's, but what she said, let's keep that in. The showrunner's like, I don't think it. Lands.